What do you think of the matchup with LSU? Well, you know, um, their big guy shot the ball better against us than any team we played this year. Um, their guards, the game we played, did not shoot the ball particularly well, which is why there was a gap. I would expect in this game they'll, they'll shoot it better. It's, uh, and I saw Johnny O'Brien some today, and he was a beast. He, he was like as, as good as any big guy I watched all day, going after balls and scoring around a basket, and playing with a, a smile on his face. He was really good today. So we've got a, it's a tough challenge for us. Do you anticipate them trying to make it, you know, a rough and tough physical type game again? Yeah, they probably will. But uh, you know, whether they, whether they play fast, whether they play zone, you know, game starts, you'll figure out. I mean, uh, you know, one of their advantages will be that they can try to physically bump us a little bit. But we've we've seen a lot of that. You know, as long as it's not fouls, it's fine. Do you feel like that game was a turning point a little bit for you guys? You had talked up to that point about negating physical play, and Terrence really went off in that game. Anthony was sort of brutalized, but still had a really big game. And was that a turning point in terms of handling that for your team? Maybe, maybe, but uh, you know, I, I think again, um, this team has made strides all year. That just you know, now the question is, can we keep going? You know, I um, what I did before we left. I want to all focused on this, what we have again. Um, you know, you, you only have a few weekends left now. Now it's down to four weekends. You got to stay focused on this. And I brought Billy Hunter in um, from the NBA Players Association to basically tell the kids, there's you together collectively have a chance to do something special. Just worry about this. And no one other than yourself can help you with anything after this year. So you have to do it. So there's no reason to be talking, thinking, don't just do your thing. You help yourself. And don't worry about anything else. There's time to worry. So brought him in just to, it's hard, man. These kids, you know, it's, they moved up dates and did all kinds of stuff. And I'm trying to take that off their plate, which is why I did what I did. Tell him up and White said today that he, you know, Apologize, he got your letter accepting his apology that he's moved on that he hopes everybody has. Do you think Anthony has from that that play? Yeah. Well, everything's good. We should just go out and play play basketball. I think that's what it would. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, he said that you got like Brett said, you accepted his apology. What what went into your thinking? I mean, was it just a kid making a kid mistake, or yeah. what was your thinking? Yeah, I mean that's the heat of the moment. They're playing the number one team in the country. And, we start beating the bat, and the kid gets frustrated and grabs him. I don't think he meant to hurt anybody, but I think he was like, okay, I'm going to follow this kid hard. And he did, but he, it, li it looked awful, you know. And uh, I don't think the kid has any, you know, any, any ill will toward us or Anthony or anything like that. It's just one of those things. The same thing with the, the kid in Vanderbilt. I don't think, you know, people play against us. They, they're reaching down, trying to grab whatever extra is in their body to try to beat us. And, Sometimes that stuff comes out. John, do you and your players notice the blue in the area when they're out of Yeah, kind of nutty. So um, and it's hard because there's two things. You kind of want to get to where you're going and go back. And um, But I've said it before, uh, I'm not a big tournament guy. I don't like this three games in three days. And we played a whole regular season. It should dictate who's what. But for us here, you have all these people here that cannot get in Rupp Arena, that take their vacation money, this is their vacation, that take rent money, this is like, I'll figure it out later, or their car payment, and they come here. And so it kind of makes you say, we got to go do this for these people. we got to play. And we got to play as well as we can because they're all, you know, they've sacrificed to get down here. And they're, they're people that cannot get into Rupp Arena. What's your thoughts, John, about, like you say, you don't put a high importance on the SEC tournament, three games any three. Tournament, any ten tournament I've ever coached in, Conference USA, Atlantic 10, I have never changed. I've said the same thing. Don't, I don't like it. I think your regular season dictates it. It doesn't prove anything. Three games in three days does not prepare you for next week. It gets you tired. You're, you know, if you win it, okay, you're happy, but you're like, geez, let's just get home. 
Is there any fear or concern about injury and a meaningless? Uh, I mean, everybody. I mean, everybody's playing. You just hope everybody's healthy. And I hope every player in the tournament, every NCAA tournament team is healthy going into it. Um, so. And they were going to leave some of the LSU not playing for the last <coughs> have to win, you know, all that stuff. Do you address that with the team at all? Yeah. We just, we know how good they are. And, and the hardest game to play in a tournament, and I've done many of these now, is the first game. Mississippi, think about last year, Mississippi had us. If Mississippi beat us, we wouldn't have been a, the fourth four. We'd probably been a seven. And there would have been no final four. Think about that. And we came back and won by a couple baskets. So the hardest game is the first one. And every year I've done this, the hardest game is that first game. Mainly because you get a bye and they've played and they're excited. Now they built their confidence and your team's been running into a tournament. All these new guys have never played in a tournament format. And so you don't know what to expect. And I don't know what to expect. I hope my guys play well tomorrow. John, can there be an advantage a month from now, having already played a couple games here in New Orleans? I love the city. My, you know, we, we've played Tulane here many times. We've uh, NCAA tournament two years ago down here. Had a great time. Um, you know, this is a great place for this kind of venue. And, and uh, you know, so, you know, I kind of know where I'm going. You know, so, know the hotel, know where I have to go. I got my little spots that I hang out in. And, you know, so, I like, uh, I love, uh, this is a great place to have a tournament. There's also something big a month from now here. Yeah, in a different arena, different all that. And, you know, so hopefully uh, we'll get to experience it. But it's that's a ways away right now. It's, I'm happy we got through today's practice. Now you look at, <coughs> you let the players a little bit last night walk around. Do you often do that, or did you feel like you know day two days before the game just let them see it and get down to business? Well, we practiced and then we went over to the arena for 30 minutes and shot around. So I just said, hey, some of you got families here. It's a good night to go and hang out with your families. Now we also last night watched the Florida tape because we hadn't had time to watch it, so we watched the clips for about 35 minutes of Florida. So we did some, we did a practice, we did a shoot around, we did tape. Then I said, go spend a couple hours with your family. Now what we're doing right now is I told them you got a couple hours before the meal because after the meal it's all basketball. They've got family here. I want them to enjoy um, their families and you know and all that stuff. So. But after the meal, it'll be all basketball. And then, if we're lucky enough to win, it's another noon game and not a whole lot of time for anything else. So this will be the last couple hours they'll be able to spend with family. John, you going to this determined to give more minutes to maybe Kyle, Eloy, maybe even others, so you don't get tired of three games, three days? I just coach the game and see how it goes. And hopefully guys will sub themselves so I don't have to make those decisions. You know, I like it when they sub themselves. You know, now you, you know everybody's fresh when they're in the game. No one's in there too long. And guys get minutes, and I keep telling them Kyle deserves more. We did practice with Kyle, Anthony, and Terrence Jones on the floor together, so we've done it. And so I feel comfortable. We know what we do offensively and defensively, and how we play both man and zone offense, man and zone defense. So you know we're comfortable out of bounds. But we went over everything with him there. So if we have to do it, and look pretty good. You know, but now. The other team became Darius and Michael Gilchrist and Eloy, and that team went bad either now. So they were going at each other pretty good. John, your guy, uh, Tony Barbie, the news came out about uh, a look into point shaving by one of his players. How much is that sort of almost like the worst case uh, nightmare for any coach to, to deal with something like that? Well, obviously, Tony wasn't involved, but to your, you know, uh, your one of your players doing it, it's just as, I don't know if there could any be, be anything more disappointing. Like, you know, because again, you're worried about that young man. And, and if it's true, we don't know if it's true. If it's true, it's, it's ugly and it's not a very bright future for someone you care about. So, you know, uh, Tony and I had dinner last night and he did not talk about it to me. So. Have you heard about this? Uh Billboard with Anthony Dave, the Anthony Davis photo on it. Uh, apparently, it's on one of the interstates coming in. W what do you think of that? And uh, well, I was mad because I wanted to be up there myself. <laughs> 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 but no, I was. You know, I, I, our our marketing people did that, and I thought it was great. Now I'm going to tell you, I just went into the 
two-lane locker room that we used to dress in to reminisce. So I said, let me go in there because it was pleather couch. I mean, it was, so I just wanted to go in and remind myself. Went in and there's a poster of Michael Jordan, Wings poster. And I called Dwayne in and I said, I thought you came up with this idea yourself. <laughs> so I don't respect you as much as I do. <laughs> you think you got the wing span for something like that? Or are you no, uh, it would be uh, more of a postage yeah, stamp. Probably right? be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy knows. She knows. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> His arms and my nose. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>